Hey folks, uh, I'm still on vacation and I'm doing a lot of work around the homestead here. Uh, the big job today is going to be aeration and seeding. And I'll tell you, I, ha I haven't done aeration last year because we had our pool install uh, earlier uh, this year and there wasn't any point in, you know, trying to, you know, make the lawn good. Uh, last year because it was going to be torn up anyway so uh, this year and ongoing I really need to aerate and overseed so that's the big job today and I have an aerator that I rented from um, Sunbelt Rentals which is only about 25 minutes away from our house so it was very convenient I rented the aerator and a trailer for it because it's very heavy and I'll tell you these aerators beat me up big time i mean it's i'm gonna just try to make the engine do all the work and guide it because if you try to fight it 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 really can uh beat you up pretty bad so i'm sure i'll be beat up today but uh <laughs> i gotta get it done so anyway i've got these um let me just show you what i got as far as i got the uh Kentucky 31. I got three bags of that. And for fertilizer, I've got the lawn starter, starter fertilizer. All right, so got those at Lowe's. And once I get the plugs out, so the next thing is to unload the trailer and start aerating. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's about uh, nine o'clock in the morning, so got to have the aerator back by before five. So stay tuned for fun. Okay, just as a uh, before, and I'll show you the after in time. But we have right out front of the house. We have this really patchy, weedy area. You can see. And then right in front of the house, it's not that great. And then over by where they actually delivered the pool, they did seed it, but it didn't take very well. See, you can see it's really patchy. So we're going to overseed. I'm going to use the aerator here. And uh, I'm just going to do many, many passes of the aerator. So we'll take a good look at this once I get it unstrapped. Stay tuned. Okay, again, this is from Sunbelt Rentals. It's a 27 inch <coughs> aerator. It's a much newer model than what I'm used to dealing with. And you got the on off switch right here. Got your choke. And fast, slow, this is the clutch to get it moving. And then, of course, this releases the tines into the ground. So, yep, 27 inches. That'll be really good. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to attack this first, this hillside. All right. Here goes nothing.
Okay folks, um, almost done with the front and it is beating me up. Although, if you can see here, we're getting some good plugging, tearing it up really good. So this will be some good holes for that grass seed to take root in. All right, I'm gonna get hydrated and then uh, get back at it. Got a whole backyard to do too. Whew. Stay tuned. backyard here and uh, I'm about I would say a quarter of the way done so it's still I got all this left hand side done but uh, just had to take a little breath <laughs> uh, this isn't as hard as splitting wood or using the chainsaws but it's close um, yeah very tough work so stay tuned
some nice cores.
right, folks. We're here at uh, Sunbelt Rentals. And this is where I rented the um, aerator and the trailer. And I'm headed back around the back to drop it off. So I'll tell you what, this operation here is awesome. Very professional. Very customer service oriented. I am very pleased with uh, my experience using this this team. So. Fuss, no muss. <laughs> oh, and a, a little uh, little history coming up here on the left here. Um, I live in Durham, and it it's uh, Bennett Place is what it is. That's where Confederate Joseph Johnston surrendered, Confederate general right there so I haven't been there <laughs> I've lived here for 20 years and I haven't actually been at this historic site but I, I'm a big Civil War buff so uh, now that I know exactly where it is I'm gonna have to come out here it's only 25 minutes away from hat from the home so uh, yeah okay now I need to get back home get some lunch and uh, do the seeding and the starter fertilizer so this day's not done by any means and it's a perfect day for this as you can see it kind of rained a bit yesterday and the, the plugs were just real the ground was soft and the plugs came out really nice and um, you know it was a cool day even though that that machine was just a great machine but it's still it's heavy and it just beats me up I'm just not used to you know lifting weights a lot <laughs>
Hey friends, what a great day to get work done. Whew, I am beat. I am really tired. So we aerated the entire lawn. We seeded with uh, tall fescue and we fertilized. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm going to take a siesta this afternoon. Um, well, a couple other things that we've been doing. We got another shipment of worms from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. I put them in the bin and they're doing fantastic. Um, so I, I needed, I started out with 250 worms. That just wasn't enough. So uh, with the 1,000 that I have now, 1,250, that should be really good for composting. So I think that does it for this video on aerating and overseeding. So Homestead Pilgrim out.